What we're here to talk about today is a 15th and, 9, 15th and 19th Amendment to the Constitution regarding voting. Um, with the 15th Amendment, was important because it gave African American men the right to vote. It was passed in 1870 and stated the right to vote was guaranteed to any person no matter their race, color, or previous condition of servitude. Although, although this amendment passed in the 1870s, there are other ways to keep black men from voting, such as poll tax, reading tax, and other chicanery. Um, part of this day is our exhibits in the back. And I'm going to segue into the hard work that um, one of my archivists, Maura Cavanaugh, has done the last few weeks looking through our collection to find stuff regarding the 15th and 19th Amendment. I just want to give an example before we all go back to look at our records in the back of the room. We, we provide an example of this chicanery with the arrest of David Randolph for illegally voting in the wrong polling place in 1876. You hear about craziness and like, trumped up charge and things may happen currently. Um, that we'll talk about later. And we have the exhibit in the back and the actual court record of him being charged for illegal voting in a wrong polling place. Um, 19th Amendment, passed by Congress on June 4, 1919, ratified August 18, 1920. The 19th Amendment guarantees all American women the right to vote. And we all know in upstate Seneca Falls the struggle that women went through just to get to vote. And by the time it was passed in the law, in the 19th Amendment, 1920, a lot of the women that started with that were no longer with us. It's since died off. But in 1917, prior to that, New York State granted women the right to vote. Um, and actually, with me, I, here within Albany County, we have a book. You can see it's not in great shape, but we do have it from the mayor's office. I would assume it's Mayor Corning. Enrollment of voters for Coles Waterway in the towns of the county, and on the bottom of the book says enrollment of women voters. So it was dedicated just for women voters knowing that a law was coming, the amendment to the Constitution, the 19th Amendment. So here within the county, we only have two of the original books, and uh, they're available at the Hall of Records film, so anybody could use them. 19th. Now the documents I want to talk about that we display for the exhibit are all connected with it by a few individuals. First, more and other staff members checked the United States Census for 1870-1920, time of the 15th and 19th new amendments, to look for black Americans who lived in Albany County at the time of these two great voting laws were enacted. Uh, she cross-referenced names with our register of voters. Again, the register of voters. We also have enrollment of voters. So they could track really anybody back in the day, currently or like today. I want to highlight David Rudolph again. He was a 40-year-old man who lived in Bethlehem in the 1870s. According to our census records, he was born in Washington, D.C. and worked as a domestic servant. Mr. Randolph was charged for illegal voting in Albany's 16th Ward in 1876. That's six years after the 15th Amendment. Just a few years earlier, now this is a historical fact that needs to be driven home. Just a few, few years earlier in 1870, Bethlehem annexed part of Albany into the town of Bethlehem as part of the, uh, as part of the, part of, uh, from the part of the city of Albany. This charge, as you will read, is that he knowingly voted in an incorrect election district. He is not the only African American man in our records who was charged with the same, quote, crime, unquoted, in the early years of the African American vote. Um, Regarding that annexation, he could have lived on the border of Albany and Bethlehem, and, there, and with the changing of the boundary lines, this could have been an honest mistake. But to arrest you for something as simple as that, a trumped up charge, is ludicrous. Um, further research on the 19th, um, 19th Amendment of voting, uh, we jump now into 20th century, the women's suffrage movement achieved its success, and the 19th Amendment was created, as we know. Mrs. Mildred Martindale and Mrs. Rena Overby, two black women live in the city's 12th ward according to our 1920 census records. In 1918, they registered to vote in the Republican Party. When we cross-reference names of black women who vote, voted, we noticed that most of the women who chose to register in 1918 were under age of 50. And the women over 50 were noticeably absent. It's evident that the youth of Albany County were eager to have their voices heard across the county. 
these stories we share of these three individuals are just a small fragment of the lies, although there are only three people out of hundreds that lived in Albany County. Their story and their contribution to history is shared by many. Um, at the Albany County Hall, Hall of Records, we honor the house, honor to house thousands of stories like these. It is our responsibility and task now to ask questions, make connections, and let their lives be heard through our archives. Please know that you're invited to join us at the Albany County Hall of Records, located at 95 Tivoli Street. Like again, I'll say again, you're nipper to dog if you get lost. We are uh, Tivoli Street intersects Broadway and uh, North Pearl Street. It's in the warehouse district, which is starting to become a, a place to go. Um, we're located at 95 Tivoli Street. Um, so I welcome anybody to come in to pursue at your leisure many of our interesting and important histories. Any questions about the Hall of Records? Okay, I'm just going to briefly go over some of the records that was chosen for the display. And then we all could go back and take a look at our display that was put together. Um, first and foremost, um, staff put together a city clerk. This came from a city clerk collection. Indictments, 1875-1878 of Mr. Randolph. Um, second record that was chosen was 1870 census where we found Mr. Randolph living in Bethlehem. Um, and then we switch into the uh, 19th Amendment with the Roman of voters, the Roman of women voters we have in our books here. Um, Board of Elections, the United States Census for the ladies that voted here within the city of Albany. But most importantly, these records that we have with us today, that's only a, a tiny frame shot of what we have at the Hall of Records. Um, we could fill 20 buildings this size if we, if we continue to gather the great history of our county. Um, it goes from census records, directories, enrollment of voters, microfilms, um, deed records, or the most popular record in our collection. People want to know houses, a history of their house. Um, assessment rolls, people complain about taxes, you hear about now, but listen, we had the taxes from like the early 1800s. People complained back then, so it's nothing new about taxes. So <laughs> they're going to be here, they're going to be here long after we're gone. So we have that. Um, we have a great part of our collection of history is social welfare, almshouse records, uh, mugshots of county penitentiary. Whatever you need, we may have it. But I always tell people, when they come in looking for things, I said, watch who you wish for. You may find something you don't want to find at our, in our office, you know. Um, but that's how it goes when you do genealogy. Um, on an average year, we get over 1,200 customers come to our doors. We get letters from across the country. Um, and that's what we're here for. We're here to serve the community and um, help people find their family's history. And, and we love, love to do this type of, to help the county, to help pr promote our history, let people know what we do within the county and whatever we can do to help, um, we're there. Remember, 95 Tivoli Street, open to the public Monday to Friday, no Saturday or Sunday. You're not going to find us there then, but you're more than welcome to visit our friendly staff and take a tour. I encourage everyone to come down for a tour. Um, it's a nice place to be and work within the county. Mm -hmm.